All right, I've been asked to make a video on how I make my basically potato hash. I mean, there's no meat in this. I'm hand holding this, so it, I'm a little too closer than I would like. Um, so I'm going to do that. Now, I was also asked to make a video on, oh, this is so weird, um, making the pancakes, but it's just a McDougal recipe. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'll probably show you maybe how I cook them or something like that. But I am going to show you how I make the potatoes. So let me get started. So the potatoes actually just are local, local grown. Let me dump them out here. I have no lighting or anything. I don't know how this is gonna look. Oh, that was. I'm probably actually going to need more than that, but that's what I'm going to start off with. Uh, I usually use, I'll show you in a second. All right, I usually use this. It's just that fry cutter that I have. And then what I do is, I don't know if you'll really see this. I just kind of cube them. Nothing like too fancy. Here's the potatoes. I mean, they're obviously not perfectly cubed, but what I do after that is I just uh, put some water in there. I'm gonna soak these, focus. Soak these for like an hour or something like that, and then I'll finish up the rest of everything. I completely soak them, like completely underwater. This is a manual focus lens, just in case you're wondering. All right, and there they are. So I'll soak that for like an hour and then I'll get back to it. Another thing that I'm going to do add to this is, hopefully my shadow, is my shadow? I think it is. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add some uh, red pepper to this and onion. Again, I really don't care how like perfectly everything's cut. If you're somebody who needs that, then go for it. I use uh, washed off knives. They're usually pretty sharp. That'll be enough of that. And I'm just gonna put these in here for now and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them later uh, after the potatoes are done soaking. And that's, that's about it. I'll see you in a minute. All right, and I'm back. So I'm just gonna take these that soaked for a little while. I'm gonna drain them out. As you can see, maybe not, there's like some residue in there basically. And then I'm gonna show you what I do with the Instant Pot now. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna pressure cook them in here, but I'm gonna kind of steam them as well. So I'm gonna put this in here. And then I have one of these, it's kind of like a silk pat, and I put that in there. If you use uh, parchment paper, you can, but it usually completely falls apart and doesn't, it, I mean, it just gets everywhere. And then I just dump this in there. 
And I also dump in the uh, peppers and the onions that I cut up. If you're gonna use corn, you could put the corn in here if the corn's not cooked. And then I just dump a little bit of water. And that's it. And then I'm just gonna do this for four minutes. Just pressure cook, four minutes, start it. And that's it, and I'll show you the rest when I get back. All right, that's done. So now I'm going to just take this out. And because All right, I'm gonna have to clean this up, but normally uh, it, it just pulls right out. All right, now that ordeal is done with it. Right now is when you can actually season these things uh, if you want to. I don't usually bother. Um, sometimes I'll put nutritional yeast on it, but I don't actually have any right now. So that just goes in to a 450 degree Fahrenheit oven. Um, usually about 25, 30 minutes. I've done a little bit longer and honestly it dries out. The reason I, well, I'll, give me a second. I don't have my glasses on, I think I'm in focus. Uh, the reason I soak the potatoes first is because when you do it those, the way that I'm doing it, it gets really disgusting <laughs> and like sticks together uh, if you don't soak it first because there's too much uh, starch in it. So I make sure that I do it this way. Uh, if you don't want to do the starch method or the so soaking method, you probably would be better off not doing it in, in, the, in the instant pot. I'm way too close. I can't tell if I'm in focus. Uh, I think I'm in focus. Anyway, if I'm not, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Messages is all that matters, right? Um, because it just, it's just, it's not, it's not going to be as good. I've tried it like twice, it just is not as good. I'm like looking on the top of my refrigerator, I have baked beans. Another thing that's really good is if you add baked beans to this, but because I'm going to also be making pancakes, I'm just going to leave the baked beans for something else. You know, I don't know what that's going to be, but I'm going to make the pancakes. I guess maybe I'll show you how I make them. I didn't really want to do this, but here we go. All right, I'll link this down below. Uh, it's just, here's, here's the ingredients for this thing. Um, I'm just going to start putting this together. I don't feel like reading this. I don't feel like doing any of that. I'll kind of show you what I do. I'll link this so you can just go, you know, read it yourself. It's on sale. Take it on, take it Oh, man. Oh.
stuck inside my house too long Can't stand being all alone Wasting hours on my phone I'm ready to go now All right, as you'll notice, I do it a little different than the recipe. I add sugar to it. Uh, I think that's about the only, oh, and there's there's some kind of like puree or something like that he advises getting. I just use applesauce instead. It's supposed to be like a tablespoon of applesauce. And you're supposed to add a little bit of extra banana if you don't have that puree. It's like sun, I forget what it's called exactly. But uh, yeah, so anyway, this is how I do it. And then I'm gonna put it on the, gri uh, the gr uh, griddle. This part is a little annoying because I'm not using any oil and it is a lot easier, <laughs> I'm sure, if you have oil with this. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start doing these uh, pancakes on here. I do have this thing, I think you can see that. Oh, maybe you can't. The temperature on five, you don't want it too hot. You don't want it too, you know, cold. So five, I try. This part is kind of a pain uh, because I don't have a metal spatula anymore. Somebody left with it uh, when they left my house. So that's fun. I'm going to have to get one of those. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's just get started. Oh, and I used uh, a third of a cup uh, just to measure it out. If you dump it out and there's a bunch, they just they get funky. You definitely want to make sure there's a lot of bubbles on these before you even bother flipping them. And another thing is, I just tasted the batter. I really highly recommend it adding a little bit of sugar. I think I added, I don't know, like an eighth of a cup or something like that. It really makes a huge difference. And definitely don't shy away from the salt, which I didn't, which I'm not a huge fan of salt, but I definitely didn't shy away from the salt because it makes these taste so much better. I actually turned this thing up to six because why not? But you definitely don't want it too hot. You will know if it's too hot because it'll start just getting like dark, dark brown, which I don't mind, but a lot of people don't like. State of mind, a place I've never heard of. I will walk like a nomad. I've been stuck inside my house too long. Can't stand being all alone. Wasting hours on my phone. Right, so I'm going to keep doing this. Another tip that I have for you is you can wet a paper towel, kind of wet that surface and they don't stick as much. Uh, the battery's running out on this. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll show you when I'm done. I'm going to show you real quick what I mean about just kind of wiping the surface down, but I, I've only got a couple percent left on this battery and I want to film the rest of this. All right, so here we go. Potatoes are done. Man, 
focus. Oh, I can't focus because my hand. That is what the potatoes look like. The pancakes are done. As you uh, cook more and more pancakes, they, they kind of stick more and more. So just be cognizant of that. Focus. There we go. That is what they look like when they're done. But if I had not um, put them in an Instant Pot first, it would be like half that. And that is what it looks like when it's done. Done. I just got this in a light box because I don't know how else to film this. But I, obviously, I'm going to add ketchup and syrup. And you can add whatever you like to, mustard, whatever it is that you want. But there it is. That's it. I don't know if I love this angle, but I think I'm in focus. Think I'm in focus. Uh, anyway, I love this manual lens, but sometimes it's a real pain to know if you are in focus. Man, I got all these cupboards open. I no, normally don't cook like this. Normally, my best, uh, my my method of cooking is to make sure that everything is clean while I'm cooking. After I'm done using something, I put it back. I don't like a lot of clutter when I'm cooking. Why I soak and uh, do the potatoes in the instant pot is you get a lot more potato as you saw in the photo or the video uh, after it's cooked. If you just put them straight into the oven like that or into the air fryer, you get a lot less yield on the potatoes. And I think that's about it. Like hopefully that this helped you guys out. I really, I'm man, this kitchen is so hot. <laughs> this kitchen is so hot. I got this uh, massive light over here. The, everything's throwing off heat right now. Um, my hair is crazy. So anyway, that is the conclusion to this dinner. Yes. Um, I don't know what else to do. I really don't have a setup here that I can like taste test this for you. But just to su suffice it to say that it's really good. I love it. I've been kind of addicted to it a little bit. If you don't want to make uh, pancakes with this, you you know you can make whatever you want. You can even turn this into like you're gonna have like vegetables on the side and then and these um, the, and the potatoes like that if you really want to. You can, and this is actually the same method that I use if I'm gonna make a curry. So I you know I, instead of Putting them in the oven like that, I would put them into the curry sauce. So really, you know, choose your choose what you want to do with this. But this is definitely how I like to do uh, my potatoes. I don't like just taking dry potatoes and putting them in the oven because you just don't get as much of the potato left. I think that's all the advice that I have. One really thing that I would do is get a sill pad, a silicone, you know, non-stick mat. I know silicone leaches into everything leaches into something. So what can you do? At least you can reuse it. Um, anyway, I think that's about it. I don't usually say, oh, man, that's it, I think. I don't know. People ask me for the video. Here's the video. Comments, questions down below. Hopefully, I'll remember to link that uh, recipe. This is just my recipe. Another thing is um, you can you can add whatever vegetables into potatoes that you want to. Like a lot of the times, I'll you saw how I put the the potatoes through the slicer like that, or the you know the fry maker. I I will actually put squash through the fry maker like that and just make make it uh, with you know squash and potatoes and onions, and, and sometimes I'll add corn to that. Anyways, that is the video. Hopefully you liked it. You see that, um, thumbs up. Share this video maybe, maybe somebody else, you know, like if somebody's like trying to transition or is like, oh, you know, there's nothing to eat, maybe show them this video, I don't know. Anyways, that is it. Talk to you in the next one. At the end of the world, there's something I can learn. Some good ideas will